Fire extinguishers and extinguishing materials have been around a long time, but not everyone understands them or knows how to use them. We cannot possibly cover all aspects of extinguishing agents and fire prevention in this short program, but the information will help you become more familiar with extinguishers, fire prevention, and a better understanding of emergency action in the event of a fire. Always remember that life safety is much more important than property. If you can't extinguish a fire safely, call the fire department and let them handle the situation. In the event of a small fire, call the fire department anyway, because small fires can quickly get out of hand and seconds count in the firefighting business. Inspect extinguishers to make sure they're clean and in serviceable condition. The pin is sealed on the handle to indicate it hasn't been used, and of course to check the correct pressure if your extinguisher has a pressure gauge. Remember that once an extinguisher has been used, if only for a second, it must be completely serviced and recharged. Once a year, fire extinguishers must be inspected and serviced by an authorized service company. During your monthly inspections, check those service tags to make sure the tag is on the extinguisher and is current. We use the word pass to help you remember how to use an extinguisher. Pull the pin. Aim the nozzle. Squeeze the handle and sweep from side to side. Pass. Before we go any further, let's get some background information out of the way. Combustion is created by interaction of three basic elements, heat or ignition, oxygen, and fuel. You probably know the different classes of fires, but as a review, let's look at them again. First, there's Class A fires. Wood, clothing, curtains, paper, or similar materials are considered Class A fires. Water is the extinguishing agent on Class A fires, which cools the temperatures of the fire until it's extinguished. Class B fires include flammable liquids and gases, such as gasoline, oil, paints, grease, acetylene, and thinners. To extinguish a Class B fire, the objective is to remove the oxygen from the fire. Carbon dioxide, or CO2 extinguishing agents, displace the oxygen of the fire. It is also non-conductive, which means it can be used for electrical fires. Class C is for fires involving electricity. Motors, compressors, pumps, electrical tools, fuse boxes, appliances, and anything energized with electricity. Class D fires are those fires involving exotic metals, such as beryllium, sodium, titanium, magnesium, and other metals that can burn. Class D extinguishers smother the fire with a dry chemical to extinguish burning metals. In most cases, the most familiar type of extinguisher is the ABC type, primarily because this extinguisher uses a dry chemical powder that extinguishes Class A, Class B, and Class C fires. Good housekeeping is one of the most important parts of fire prevention. Don't forget to keep closets, janitorial rooms, and other equipment areas clean, neat, and organized. Flammables and combustibles should be kept in safety containers and properly stored when not in use. If you work with flammable liquids, pay attention to spark-producing tools, electrical motors, and other items that can ignite flammable vapors. An approved flammable liquid container has a spring-loaded lid to prevent spills, but will allow the liquid in the container to expand by slightly releasing the lid enough for small amounts of vapors to escape. Perhaps the most important part of a safety container is the flame arrester. It's a mesh screen inside the container that looks a lot like a filter. It's designed to prevent flames from returning inside the container, causing an explosion. Life safety is paramount. Your life and the lives of others. Don't take chances. If you're not sure if you can extinguish a fire safely, leave the area and close the door behind you 
to keep the fire from spreading. Next, fully understand that smoke from any type of fire kills more people than the actual fire. If smoke is present, it's best not to try using an extinguisher. The fumes and gases of smoke are very toxic and can kill you. When fighting a fire with an extinguisher, always keep your back towards an available escape route. Next, remember the word pass. This is a reminder to pull the pin, aim the nozzle, squeeze the handle, and sweep from side to side. Let's watch some experts in action. You can see in this demonstration that the extinguisher was activated well before the fireman reached the fire. Then he moved in slowly, making sure not to spread the fire. After the fire is out, check to make sure it's really out. Remember that life safety is paramount. Never try to extinguish a fire where your life or the lives of others are in jeopardy. Get out and leave the firefighting to the professionals. When evacuating a building, don't use elevators, and of course, don't panic. Keep calm and put your emergency plan in action. After all, isn't that what safety's all about? That about does it for now. Remember the classes of fire and the word pass. It can save your life in case of an emergency. Thank you.